Adding objects to the scene on mouse click in 3GS seemed like a very simple thing to do until I tried multiple times and I just failed miserably. Actually, I had an idea close to the solution we are going to see, but that wasn't enough. Having said that, what makes this task quite a bit tricky is that there is no built-in function in 3GS to transform the mouse position from the window coordinate system to the 3GS world coordinate system. Anyways, after hours of research, I could find exactly what I was looking for in a thread on Stake Overflow, and I wanted to share that with you in this video. So, the idea of the solution is the following. We need to create an invisible plane that must be directly facing the camera, and this needs to be done every time a mouse movement event is detected. To achieve that, we'll need to call set from normal in complainer point, this method needs two things to create a plane, a unit normal vector to indicate the direction of the plane, and a point. Having said that, since we need the plane to be directly facing the camera, the unit normal vector needs to be pointing to the position of the camera, and the point is going to be the origin of the world's coordinate system. Next, we need to create an object on mouse click at the position where the plane intersects with the ray between the camera and the cursor, in here, you need to have a basic knowledge of the Raycaster class, I have already talked about that in the 3GS guide on my channel, so if you don't know what is a Raycaster or how it works, make sure to watch that part on the guide, link in the description. To implement the steps I've been talking about, we have a basic 3GS setup with an access helper, so nothing special here. Now we need to create 5 variables. The first one is a vector2 instance that represents the normalized position of the cursor which we'll need for the raycaster. Intersection point is a vector3 instance which will hold the coordinates of the point where the plane intersects with the ray, the coordinates of the mouse click more precisely. Plane normal is also a vector3 instance and it represents the unit normal vector that indicates the direction of the plane. Plane is the plane to be created whenever we change the position of the cursor. And we have raycaster which is going to emit the ray between the camera and the cursor. That done, we need to keep updating the mouse variable with the normalized coordinates of the cursor using these two lines. Next, we need to type this line to keep updating the plane normal with the coordinates of the unit normal vector. The copy method copies the coordinates of the camera position and then calling normalize on these coordinates generates the unit vector. Then, we'll call set from normal in coplanar point on the plane instance in order to create the plane, we can explicitly set a 0, 0, 0 vector as the origin or we can get it from the same position property. That done, we have to create the ray by calling set from camera. And then we need to call the intersect plane method which takes two arguments. The first is the plane and the second is the variable into which we want to store the coordinates of the intersection point. And with that done, now we have the position of the cursor click stored in the intersection point variable. The rest is some basic object creation code.
Here we'll use the copy method again to put the sphere at the right position by copying it from the intersection point variable. Now if we test this out by clicking on a straight line without changing the position of the camera, you'll see that the spheres appear on the same plane. And then if we click and keep changing the camera's position, each sphere gets placed on a different plane, therefore have an entire different set of coordinates. And that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.